Hello, everyone. Today we will get to know together one of the basic glands of our bodies, which is the pituitary gland, which has basic and very important rules in our bodies. Let's go together and get to know it. Wait, wait. Where are you going? We're going to get to know the pituitary gland in your head. Okay, I'm going to get dressed and come back to look decent on camera. What do we do now that idiot is gone who told him we want to meet him? We just want to meet his pituitary gland. A few moments later. Hattie. Did you forget you don't have clothes? You are just laboratory rat. His mind is very small. Now I understand. What did you say? Hello, pituitary gland. We came to get to know you and your important functions. So please tell us about yourself. Welcome, of course. With pleasure, I have been looking for someone to talk to for some time. I'm pituitary gland, also known as hypophysis, is a small, pea-sized gland located at the base of brain below hypothalamus. Hi! I'm a part of endocrine system and am in charge of making several essential hormones that I'm also tells other endocrine system glands to release hormones. Can you tell us what endocrine glands are and what hormones are? Surely. A gland is an organ. Who is talking, our laboratory rat? Shut your mouth. That makes one or more substances, such as hormones, digestive juices, sweat or tears. Endocrine glands release hormones directly into your bloodstream. What about hormones? Hormones are chemicals that coordinate different functions in your body by carrying messages through your blood to various organs, skin, muscles, and other tissues. These signals tell your body what to do and when to do it. Now I'll tell you thank you, pituitary gland. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Please continue. I'm divided into two main sections, the anterior pituitary, front lobe, and the posterior pituitary, back lobe. I'm connected to hypothalamus through a stalk of blood vessels and nerves called the pituitary stalk, also known as infundibulum. My anterior lobe makes and releases many hormones. Can you name them and the function of each? Of course, adrenocorticotropic hormone, ACTH, or corticotrophin, ACTH, plays a role in how body responds to stress. It stimulates adrenal glands to produce cortisol. Growth hormone, GH, in children, growth hormone stimulates growth. In other words, it helps children grow taller. Well, I always wish I was taller. When I'm done, I sue my pituitary gland. In addition to prolactin, prolactin stimulates breast milk production, lactation, after giving birth. Thyroid-stimulating hormone, TSH, TSH stimulates thyroid to produce thyroid hormones that manage metabolism, energy levels, and nervous system. Luteinizing hormone, LH, and follicle-stimulating hormone, FSH. And what about your posterior lobe? My posterior lobe stores and releases the following hormones, but hypothalamus makes them antidiuretic hormone, ADH, or vasopressin. This hormone regulates the water balance and sodium levels in your body. Oxytocin, hypothalamus makes oxytocin, and I stores and releases it. In people assigned female at birth. Can we live without a pituitary gland? You can live without your pituitary gland as long as you take medication to replace the pituitary hormones that you're missing. The pituitary gland hormones are very important for maintaining several bodily functions. An untreated lack of all the pituitary hormones is life-threatening. Thank you very much, pituitary gland. See you later and goodbye. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.